Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot weekend reading for the 21st and the 22nd of August 2021. There's a lot of, that's all two and one numbers, isn't it? Is there anything special about today's date? Well, the date of the whole weekend, the 21st. Oh no, there's an eight, isn't it? This is why I don't do numbers, isn't it? Let's just shut up about the numbers. I'm going to stop talking about that. Um, we're going to have a couple of facts from 1,144. Uh, fun and interesting things and all that that you need to know. We're coming to the end of the book. Now, I do have two other books. Are you enjoying the interesting facts? Can you let me know in the comments section, please? Okay. <laughs> Walt Disney holds the record for the most Oscars won by any one person with a total of 22. I suppose that makes sense though, doesn't it? In the 1960s, Alcatraz was the only federal prison at the time to offer hot water showers for its inmates. The logic behind it was that prisoners who were acclimatized to hot water would not be able to withstand the freezing temp waters of the San Francisco Bay during an escape attempt. I wonder if there's any data on how that worked out for them. A man called Jonathan Lee Riches, I think, got the Guinness Book of World Records for having filed the highest number of lawsuits in the world with a total of over 2,600. Oh my God. In the 1912 Olympics, a Japanese marathon runner called Shitsu Kanakuri quit and went home without telling officials and was considered a missing person in Sweden for 50 years. In 1966, he was, in, he was invited to complete that marathon, <laughs> finishing it with a total time of 54 years, eight months, six days and five hours. I love that. That's probably like if you put me on the marathon, it would probably take me that long <laughs> without going missing. Do you know what I mean? I, that would be me there the whole time in my kit. Yeah, exactly. Long distance running is really not my thing. Do any of you go running? Leave me a comment, let me know. As you know, I think you know, I play tennis. Um, and it's weird, and I cycle as well, but one sport does not transfer into another. You try and get me to run, and I'm honestly out of breath by the time I reach the corner of this street. I don't think I could run for a bus. Okay, I like that. We're doing a bit of kitchen tarot, and aren't we shaking it up because we're not in the kitchen? Although you may, they are actually doing some work, so you may hear a bit, but I don't think so. Um, we're not in the kitchen, but we're doing kitchen tarot. Look at us, shaking it up. The Lazy Susan or the Wheel of Fortune. Or for me, the Salad Spinner. Oh, look. It's a little picture of Val. Look at that. A little picture of Valley Boo. Okay. When you get the Wheel of Fortune, there is a sense in which you know, you're at, you know you're at the hub of something. Things are not necessarily gonna get better. They're not just gonna get worse. Life just isn't that straightforward. It's gonna get different. This will change. Uh, things will move and they're in the process of moving already. And I quite like the energy of it. I like the energy of this card. I like the 10 as well. The one kind of collapses in, ooh, into the zero, and it's like an ace almost. It's something new. Oof. Oh wow, these are so pretty, these cards. The colors are lovely. Next to it, we get the magician, which is salt and pepper, or condiments, if you're being posh about it. Um, I love salt and pepper, I love condiments. I absolutely love them. I can't cook, but I love a condiment. Okay, when you get the magician, you get the chance to be your own agent. So the fool is zero, and I'm getting a real zero one thing here. We know we were talking here about the one and the zero. 
and I don't know much about maths, you know that about me, but I know that binary is like a series of zeros and ones. So we may be talking about something to do with computers or something to do with algorithms or... I don't really understand, to be honest. Oh, wow. Okay. But with the magician, the fool who was zero becomes the one. So he actualizes, he comes into being. And you know, there are what they call integers, aren't there, between numbers. For me, coming what they call in Latin ex nihilo, out of nothing into one, is a longer journey than any of the other numbers put together because you're starting from nothing. There is a sense today in which you're starting from nothing, but the wheel of fortune is turning. You're at the hub, you're almost the zero. In archetypes of the tarot, you're the fool and you're moving from the zero to the one. That's our moving from the zero to the one mime, always in that direction. Let's do it the other way. <laughs> turning into a dance. We could be on TikTok. <laughs> What's this? It's my dance. I am showing in mime and contemporary dance <laughs> a binary number going from a zero to a one. What do you think it is? Come on, let's go. Okay, I don't know why a lasso always gets into my dancing. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune. For me, the Fool is here, even though it's not on the table. The Fool is in the energy of any tarot reading. All of the cards are in the energy of any tarot reading. It's like doing astrology. It's uh, your sun sign does not determine everything. There are bits of all of the signs in your chart. Okay. Predominantly, we're working with magician energy. When you, I don't know much about food, but when you make food and you add a bit of salt or pepper or condiments, it brings food alive. I know salt's bad for you, you know, don't go on at me about that. <laughs> I love salt, um, but it is, is bad for you and it's bad for blood pressure and all of that stuff. But in terms of being a chef, they do use it. They use salt to bring stuff alive, they use pepper, there are alternatives and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, a good condiment is magic in food. That's why it's here. This is about moving from the zero to the one. It's about starting something from nothing. It could be starting a conversation that you haven't had before. It could be starting a business. It could be starting a thought for a business. It could be anything about moving towards a decision. Okay, how beautiful is this card? The lovers, look at that. Cream and sugar. It's really nice. So this is a bit of a cream tea situation. It's also the card of where there's two people, two things, a decision, a choice, some kind of dualism. It feels like you're maybe moving towards making a choice, but you're only in the very beginning part of it. It's quite fundamental. Don't rush the process, you don't need to. Nice. And then we get temperance, which is the blender. And again, you know when we have temperance, someone is playing with the energies. And in blenders, people play with food. I've noticed this, because as you know, I watch a lot of cookery programs, even though I can't cook. And when they want to make something that they're gonna put on a fish or in a sauce, they put loads of things like chilies and a bit of salt and garlic and stuff, saffron, I don't know, into a blender and then they zhuzh it, like maybe some sweet peppers and things, and then they stick it on fish and it's like, ooh, like a paste. It feels like with temperance, we get to play a bit with adding a bit of spice to our idea, a bit of condiment to literally to the zero. We're adding, we've got a recipe, this is very kitcheny, and we're adding a bit of sweetness, we're adding a bit of what they call umami, I think, a bit of taste. We're moving it from nothing into something, and I guess that's what you do when you make a meal. And then over here, which one is this? Usually it's written on here somewhere. The sun, oh my God, isn't that gorgeous? Mum and apple pie. And can I say, my mum makes a very good rhubarb crumble. I love a rhubarb crumble. 
The sun is just a good luck card. It's glorious. It's telling you that what you're moving towards will work out, okay? And for all of you, of course, it's gonna be different, but it's wholesome, it's nice, I like it. I like how we move from a one to a 10 with that wheel of fortune as well. Yes, bit of cosmic side boob, here we go. This is like the equivalent oracle card to the wheel of fortune, the fates. This is about surrendering control to a certain extent and allowing the universe to just take you in this particular direction. You become the magician and when the magician, like as above, so below, you know, when he's doing his staying alive thing, yes, he's guiding, he's the alchemist, but the universe provides the four elements that are on the table. He's working with the magic of what he's got. And that's what you're doing here. You're bringing something out. And I suppose it's like bringing flavor out of food. I think we've squeezed every last drop out of that metaphor or have we? Leave me a comment, let me know how it resonates. Have a fun weekend and I'll see you soon. Namaste.